All right, what's up, guys? It's Scar here from the Square Esports here with Lod from Envy. Uh, the, after a very close series with TL, I, I thought especially the first game was really, really close. Uh, what ended up happening in the first game to be so, so, so close? Even before the Elder Dragon, it felt like you guys were maybe in a position to win the game, and then and then they were in a position to win the game, and then it kind of bounced back and forth. Like, why was it so roller coastery? Uh, well, we just had two completely different like win conditions. They had their win condition with Trundle. Uh, in the split push and making picks with LeBlanc and ours was just completely team fight oriented like and every time we got a team fight that game we absolutely like, we completely crushed them and got objectives off it but towards the end of the game like uh, a lot of us we just kept getting picked off and then every time we'd get picked off they'd get even more split push pressure so it was just like really really hard to actually like close out the game and be in a position to win so yeah. In both games, actually, they ended up split pushing quite frequently. Like, they really went off and the Trundle went off the first game. Uh, was that something that you guys were prepared against going into the games? Uh, yeah, I mean, looking at what lolo has been playing recently, he's been playing like a lot of split pushing champions. And for the most part, that is like sort of the top lane meta. Uh, there's a few picks like Rumble that are just like really good at team fighting. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we expected it. I, I just think we kind of like handled it wrong. Uh, and speaking about Run Rumble, I actually saw it banned a lot in the second series, both second series, a band that picked. What do you think about Rumble at the moment? I feel It feels like I'm not even necessarily, necessarily sure how strong he is. Um, he can be, like, ridiculously strong with the Proto Belt. Like, he seems to just do super well versus a lot of lanes. And then his power spike is at, like, 3,000 gold. As soon as he picks up Proto Belt, he can just TP and ulti and, like, 100, 100 to 0, like, pretty much any carry that has no tank items. So I, I think he's, like, a really good pick, but... You have to be able to like pull the trigger and make a team fight happen with your comp. So that's kind of like even though we had like good tools to engage like with Silver LT and Bard LT and stuff like that, we just I guess we kind of like weren't able to pull the trigger or figure out the right situations to go in on. So it it didn't work out for us. But I think it's a strong pick overall. I've heard from a lot of teams. I talked to a lot of teams about all the other teams, and a lot of teams are like, "Oh, Envy isn't as good as their stats show." And then other, and after they say that, you guys tend to win the game. Actually, it was just super funny. Um, where exactly do you see yourself in the rankings, uh, up and down? I have no idea right now because, even though the first two weeks we weren't really playing versus the best teams, I think our level of play was actually pretty high and like deserving of, of probably top four. But recently, like I guess our scrims haven't been like too great. Our practice results haven't been too great, so we haven't really been progressing a lot as a team. So. Even though I still think we're, I would call ourselves like top six, uh, we definitely haven't really been improving as much as I, I, I would have hoped. But I think, you know, we're moving into like a new house soon. I think it's going to get better. And uh, I think I'll know more in like a couple weeks, like where we really stand. So, yeah. Uh, speaking about the, your, the rest of your competition, there's a lot of mid tier teams around your level. You got CLG, you have TL. Uh, who do you think is your direct competition to keep you guys from top four? Um, I mean, it seems like TL right now, they're actually, I think after that match, they're perfectly tied with us. Uh, they seem like most similar to us in skill level. And then I guess like CLG is starting to play a bit better now too. So we have to watch out for them. Uh, Cause I mean, the top three is just solidified. I think as, even though TL did beat C9, I think it's like solidified as uh, TSM, Immortals and C9. And then it's just us, CLG and uh, TL fighting for the last few spots. Uh, so right now, are you guys just trying to accomplish just reaching playoffs is that your goal at the moment? Uh, I mean, our, our goal, our, our goal is still like number one. You know, it even if it's not completely realistic at this point, every team's goal should be to like be number one and be the best. Uh, you know, we might have like a really good week of practice next week or the week after that, and just like elevate to a complete like to, to another level and get a lot better. So, you know, we still have like a lot of faith faith in ourselves and uh, like yeah, I think we can end up being a top three team by the end of the split. It's still possible. I find that teams who tend to have a lot of like bad practices might have like very, uh, I don't want to say weak mental states, but they, they, they are like constantly pressured mentally by either outside factors or factors that happen in the game. Would you say that your team is a team that's really strong mentally, or would you say that they have maybe, maybe more fragile mental states? No, I, I think everybody on our team is like super strong mentally. Uh, you know, after all of our losses, None of us have really like gotten too down. We we just like get up the next day and want to practice twice as hard to become better. Cause, like, if you get if you get like torn down mentally from from losses or like bad scrim results or whatever, like that means you're never gonna get better. You know, you might have like three weeks of terrible practice in a row, but you every day that you scrim again, you have to be confident that like this could be the day that like you start winning and like figure out the meta. So, yeah, I think I think like we're really resilient mentally.
Yeah. How much of a say do you have in the picks that happen around the team that aren't in bot lane? So, a good example is yesterday, Karthus pick came out. Uh, as like a pretty avid Karthus, Karthus player, I saw the comp. One, I thought it loses to Anivia. Two, I thought your comp couldn't handle Anivia in general with the Karthus. Uh, what was the idea around the comp? Um, well, we, we do we do like have a say in like picks and bands and stuff, you know, because uh, we, we, we have like translators. But for the most part, like me, me and Hakio, we, we just like we, we trust the rest of our team and the coach to like pick and draft the right things. Like sometimes I feel like we get some kind of like random picks coming out. Like uh, it was like Ezreal mid last week, which kind of worked out in scrims, but it didn't really seem like I, I was a little, I was like a little bit unsure. And then the Karthus. Uh, basically, Ninja just said like he was super confident that he could beat Anivia with Karthus, so I just like trusted him fully. I, I I try and like trust all my teammates no matter what, and yeah, like I didn't I didn't expect it to like, go well necessarily, and it kind of didn't. But you know, it is what it is. I'd rather people be like feel comfortable like trying new things and like do, make uh, picking champions like that than feel like too scared, you know? Because maybe next week like there'll be some oddball champion that's like actually perfect for the scenario. And if we don't trust him, we won't be able to play it. So, you know, yeah. Would you say trust is one of the most valuable things to have within the team? Yeah, yeah, I think I think trust is always important because trust means that like, even if yourself, even if you're in a slump, that means your team is gonna trust you to get out of the slump and start playing well again. And same, it goes like vice versa, you know? If one of my teammates isn't playing too well for a game or a set or a week or two weeks, it doesn't matter. Like, I'll always trust them to bounce back and like, play super good again because I know everybody's motivated so yeah like trust is really important uh, and I just want to know so you guys ended up playing two different best of threes this week what's some kind of something that you realized throughout the weekend that you guys didn't do very well that you want to practice going into next week um everything our, our pick bands have been like sort of shaky but that stems from like practicing poorly and then like I guess our, our objective control was like looking really good in week one and two and it's completely fallen off I think like we're not really rotating around the map the right way and we're getting bullied around especially by better teams like versus TL I didn't think we got bullied too hard but like versus C9 and uh, TSM it was like completely one-sided because we just weren't making the right rotations so I think honestly like mechanically we're still I think we're all really good we just need to work on like playing better as a team I guess yeah any final words out? Shout out to your fans. Uh, thank you to all the fans for supporting me. And uh, I hope everybody had a good Canada Day. That was yesterday, but yeah. And thank you for the interview, as always. You heard it here first from Lod. Uh, this is Scar from the Score Esports. You can find more content online and on our mobile app. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a nice day.